Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Lunch Money. I'm your host, Gina Savage. I'm a talent booker, producer of Sunshine State Comedy. I am joined with good friend, fellow comedian, uh, also uh, the host of her own show, Christy Unleashed, Christy Miller. Hi. Hi. Happy Love Monday, it. everybody. Woo. Happy Monday. We're the new noon. <laughs> we, we are the new noon. We're the only noon. Seriously. Like fuck uh, all the other noons. Yeah, fuck the other noons. Fuck the other noons. And good morning. And how are you? Happy Monday. Fuck the other noon. Oh. Hey, happy post Father's Day, Juneteenth. Yes, happy all of that. Yeah. My dad's dead. So's mine. <laughs> Our dad is dead. It's so hey. messed up. I know. And some people actually, I like now I'm trying to, you know, cover up this madness. But some, oh, God bless my dad. He's like, why? Do, why? I can hear my dad now. Let me just do an impression of my dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. What do you, why even bothering? Why even bothering with that lunch money thing? Where's that? You can't even. <laughs> where? <laughs> where <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that thing he's like where's that where's that gonna get you see where's that gonna get you where yeah well the time you could be doing that you could be taking a class somewhere okay that's my dad <laughs> can i do my dad yeah please okay this is an impression of my father mm -hmm. oh god he left <laughs> Oh. oh, my dad is, oh man. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That's method Thank acting you. people. Method acting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, my dad, my, I, I truly believe happy Father's Day truly. And um, to all the fathers and women who have to do both roles. Uh, by the way, the cat, I have a cat, I'm babysitting a cat in this luxury, luxurious set. They let a cat on. on the set? Really? <laughs> they let a they let a cow count. There was a, a, a mouse problem. But as you can see from our high technology that the green screen I've got going on, it the cat's playing with the green screen. That little that little wanker. Um, he's your, uh, yeah, he's she, your tech. He, he's a tech guy. He's doing. Uh, he's, she's, a he's a yeah, grip well, on the TV show. It's, it's a. It's a. She's a. She's a tuxedo kitty. Oh. And, and um and she's playing with the green screen. Can you lift her All up right. and show her to everybody? Show Where her is she? I don't Come know. Here. Come Kitten. here, this is the kitty. Oh, hi, kitty, 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 kitty. I can't hear on TV. Okay, meow, meow. <laughs> hey, sweetie, you're on a podcast that three people watch. Hey. You, can tell, it's, it, you can tell it's loopy. I'm just afraid she's going <laughs> to knock over all, everything. The First whole all, set's going to come down. <laughs> let's, I'm going to be, you know, you know, we're always frank with the kids. Hey, I'm Frank and I'm Cher. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the last time I recorded, uh, one time when I was like traveling, right? I'm watching mm -hmm. my friend's apartment and her 16 year old, like little poodle. And, um, and this, like, this cat's a baby. But the situation is that, like, I don't want to tape up anything on the walls here, right? It's a, it's a luxurious apartment. It's a luxurious, it really is. It's like, I don't belong here, but no, it's not. I'm kidding. Property value is going down. Well, it would be if I taped shit up in here, so I'm not about to. So I, I draped, I, the only really good, hang, uh, the only really good spot to, uh, to drape it is in the bathroom. And, the, and the, so the green screen is hiding the shower curtain slash kitty litter box behind me hey welcome to the new new hey we need those calls <laughs> we, need, <laughs> we need to get that patreon going we got to talk about that but uh so yeah so uh welcome to the start of the week um i did not because i was taking care of the animals uh i uh did not really do anything i mostly watched netflix last week i mean it was a lot of netflix chill and try to do things related to comedy and yourself uh last week i did shows i uh did shows and god i don't even remember what i did last week <laughs> i don't even know 
Oh, uh, this weekend, uh, last night, I did a comedy fight club, like an underground, like, uh, it's kind of like fight club, like Brad Pitt. I wish he was there. That would have made it so much better. <laughs> and, comedy uh, fight club? Yeah. And uh, it was like, it's, it's roast battles. Mm-hmm. And I battled. And the guy I battled, this kid, Eugene Chang, sweet kid, don't know him. He doesn't know me. So we're just trying to do shit. And I came right. off very racist. <laughs> Great. It's going to be banned. But from I still, every... but I still won the battles because they're like, you you know, I, I still killed it, but still. Well, you ha- I, well, I mean, isn't that the point of the battle is that, like, that's the one place where you could be a truly be an offensive. asshole. Yeah. I mean, I would think, I, I, I hope we haven't really, I mean, are we really, uh, is that how far we can't like, you know, you know, no one's going to bust me oh. on all my insanity like down the line if they ever roast me it's going to be a it's going to be a skewering it's going to be it's it's going to it's going to yeah yeah it's going to be a barbecue (laughs) sweetie who's burning the eight ball in the corner pocket (laughs) people get high walking by that (laughs) that never gets old except for the people i've worked for in the past (laughs) oh god anyway Uh, um anyway moving on so, so, but I think what it was is that because none of these comics know me, these are like the seven to 10 year guys, you know, five to eight right. year guys, you know, I'm a hundred and 10 years in. And it was funny because I really felt out of place because I don't know anybody, you know, I'm shy. Hey, there's a weird one. No one would have thought of, you know, but <laughs> right. You are I, shy. I am shy. I don't like to bother people. I just kind of keep to myself. I'm an introvert. And mm. I mean, at least a couple people I knew there. I knew another girl that was on the roast battle as well, but it was such a weird energy because first of all, the show didn't start for an hour late. And so it, it was just right. already, and it was hot in there. We're like, okay, this is like forever. And mm-hmm. then it comes to, you know, it comes around. So like things were up and down and you could tell the groups and the clicks of the bros. And this is another thing I talk about clicks with comedy. Like this is a strong, dark click. And these guys are really funny. This clip right. is really cool dudes, really funny. And here I am as the outsider. And I know I'm like intimidating and stuff as it is. And when I walked on, like they didn't know what to think of me because they, a lot of them didn't know me. And, you know, and the things, you know, my jokes killed. Right. But I could still feel like, holy shit. Like they didn't know me. So they thought I was just being an asshole. But I think that was just like their tag. Like, wow, she's racist. But they were shooting all this racist shit anyway. I had nothing on poor Eugene, except the fact that he told me his mom worked at a sweatshop and his dad at a restaurant. I'm like, how more stereotypical can you get, brother? Like, right, well, you know, it, it, it kind of writes itself. Yeah. And anyway. my, favorite, my favorite joke, <laughs> I'm going to say it here. This is okay. my favorite joke I wrote and it got groans. And oh, huge laugh oh, oh. at the same time, like, oh, right. damn. But it was like, this was my favorite. And right. it was like, um, Eugene, I'm really surprised how much you love basketball because it took your mom 13 hours in a sweatshop to make one. <laughs> so bad. So bad. But it's a roast. And it's a everyone, roast. And, and Eugene right. laughed. He totally of laughed. Of course he did. Because it's, you know, because back when we could laugh at stuff like that, we laughed at stuff like that. Yeah. It's a roast. Yeah. So it was a private event or was it a thing? When I... It's an underground. It was a private It's underground. It's underground. Okay. And it's on Patreon and it's on YouTube. And this roast right. battle, Comedy Flight Club, if you go to the YouTube channel, you right. can see it Thursday night. They're airing it live on their Comedy right. Fight Club channel. And also... They have extended footage and stuff on Patreon. So, um, yeah, that's all. That's great. That's all. I don't know. It was it was a whole weird thing to be around a whole crew of comics. I've never, you know, these are young kids. So I'm like, I felt like grandma, you know, chaperoning the kids, you know, the creepy one, you know, like trying to blend in with the cool kids. It's, yeah. it's sad. It's funny you should say that uh, because, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been feeling very, you know, dinosaur woman of comedy lately. Like, oh, her from 20 years, you know, like her, you know, like we know her. No, you don't, you know, (laughs) (laughs) you don't really know me, but, you know, people think they know me, but they don't know me. Right. Except, you know what I mean? So I've been feeling like, oh, you know, and honestly, yeah. I mean, if you think of somebody that's been in comedy for 20 years, you're thinking they're 
maybe not as fresh as like, you know, someone who comes around with, uh, you know, but I, I have a lot of experience, but I'm also still a kid at heart. So there's a right. lot of that happening, but I've been feeling, uh, I've been feeling the experience. If I, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. You're I've feeling just been... old, sweetie. <laughs> You're feeling long in the tooth. Hey, hey, Florida, she's in the right place. Is this an episode of Cocoon? <laughs> hey, hey, grandma called, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, B12, you playing bingo cards, sweetie? I mean, oh, it's, it's, we it's sit around and listen to our arteries harden. Is this what's happening? <laughs> I worked <laughs> for a <laughs> I thought you were, seriously, I thought you were going to say, you, you know, I matched the entire set tonight with this, this garment that I I'm wearing I was noticing today. you matching with the carpet on our set. Yes. Does the, <laughs> the carpet, carpet match, match the, the drapes? Hello, easy one. Come on, you know it. See, my Come carpet on. matches this right here. I have hardwood floors. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, I mean, I've been feeling that. Um, so uh, one of the events that took place, event, it's a big event. It's a big <laughs> event. <laughs> oh, it's the main event. Well, let's talk about a big, a big event, a truly big event, I yes. suppose. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, that the Laugh Factory in San Diego has finally opened. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's good news for me because my brother lives in San Diego. Oh, yeah. Oh, and... well, fuck the comedy store in La Jolla then. Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, no. I, I, it's open. They, they, I guess, COVID and blah, blah, blah. But it opened. Tony Rock was the headliner for the weekend. Oh, P.S. Yeah, P.S. That's I... how old I am. He's ancient right here. I think I might have been one of the first people ever to pay Tony. Like I know Tony from from the fetal days when I was in the on the floor in the fetal position. Well, uh, when he was hanging know. out with his brother at his spots. <laughs> no, but you know, I but know. so you know, congratulations to Tony and all that. And happy Father's Day to Tony, even though we haven't talked in a hundred years. Okay. Well, that's great. The fact, I mean, everything, it's nice. Cause like, you know, New York, all the restrictions are off, but some rest, you know, the restaurants, I think you still have to wear them in. I think restaurants are still keeping the mask thing going. Some are, mm -hmm. so it's hard to tell. I, I I'm so confused now because the restrictions are lifted, but some places still have them. And so, you know, it's hard to like, and I walk into a place. I'm like, is it on? Is it off? Is it on? I'm like this. And they're like, no, you don't need it. I'm like, okay. So then I hang on to it. Otherwise they're like, is it on? Okay. I'm like, oh shit, I can't come in. And they're laughing at me outside the door because I'm wrestling with my mask and I feel bad because I don't want to, you know, but then I get mad. I'm like, ah, we're wearing masks because assholes don't want to vaccinate. <laughs> Why do I got to take care of them? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird to me though. Like, you know, it, it just seems like we went from such a place of like, you know, masks and fear, masks yeah. and fear. Yeah, I mean that's the name of my book, Masks <laughs> Fear. Masks is, and it was a lot. That sounds media. like my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> if we you went, had a sex life, sweetie, you wish. Oh God! <laughs> Don't let's not even go off on that tangent. But anyway, masks and fear, and so we had a lot of that, and now all of a sudden. It's like, it's so weird. Business as usual in, in a lot of spots. I've been looking at things online. Comedy clubs across the universe are like packed. Nobody's yeah. got a mask on. I'm like, you know, super spreader, you know, remember super spreader. <laughs> yeah, super yeah. spreader. There's no super spreading. Everybody's, but it's just weird, right? There's almost a part of me that's like, there's like this little, I mean, obviously a lot of people had COVID and died from COVID. Right. And, you know, we're experiencing it still, 600, but, but still a part of me is like, it's like now nothing now, nothing. Cause we're vaccinated. Like they're really, I don't, it's, it's weird to me. It's just strange. Well, if enough people are vaccinated, the virus can't spread and mutate. It just dies. So it doesn't go anywhere. That's why. And okay. like, you know, it's, it's great vaccinate and then we can fornicate. 
Nothing. Well, right. that would Next be question. great. And that would be great. That would vax that Kate would so we could fornicate. That would be great if that could even happen. Okay. So uh what I what else did I want to talk about? Oh, oh. So um, you remember I was telling you, I know this is so so random, but I think it's mm-hmm. important. Yeah. Remember that next door app? Because I have nothing going on. You know, you know, the thing about Florida, there's so many retirees, right? Uh, that, you know, this is what they do. They get on the next door app and they tell you what's going on in the neighborhood. So I saw this headline, which I thought was I I, I immediately because I you know, love my next lo- door app, by the way. I love it. It's hilarious. It's, it's so funny. But you know, I have I love iguanas. Like I love them. Oh, I don't know where this. My old right. roommate had two, when I was a, in my 20s, my roommate Kira had two iguanas that lived with us. I love them. Like, right. I love them. So, yeah, they're, they're fabulous, right? So, I, and I watched this, there's like a iguana Tama, T-A-M-A, I think on uh, Instagram. I am just like fascinated with what that woman and how she treats the, her oh. iguana. Anyway, I saw, I swear to God, here come the Schumers, I swear to God. <laughs> There was a headline, Iguana Stuck in C-H-A. And I was like, Iguana Stuck, because you only see part of it. Right. So I was like, Iguana Stuck in C-H-A. And I'm like, there's an iguana stuck in a chair? (laughs) (laughs) He was too fat to get up, sweetie. And his arthritis was killing him. (laughs) So I opened, (laughs) nothing, nothing. So then I opened it up and it's Iguana Stuck in Chain Link Fence, which is- clearly a lot worse than being stuck a in a chair. chair well actually i don't but, know if you're an old person you might have a little more <laughs> dignity stuck in a chain <laughs> you're an old iguana i'm stuck in a chair and i can't get up you um, kids today <laughs> get off my property <laughs> these iguanas need life alert um right so uh i'm telling you so uh so these are the kinds of headlines that i'm reading these days because i i just can't watch the news we've thought i can't yeah can't do it anymore yeah i'm done i just i i can't even do it anymore or maybe i'll return to it but right now because i've been staying at the friend's place in this luxurious home i can't even tell you oh jealous it's luxurious uh that i've netflixed and chilled and then i have our show last uh Hello, disappear. Look, I'm a magician. Ta-da! Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> Patreon, please. So um, so I've been watching a lot. There is a, there is a, I don't know if you've had a chance to see this. There is um, a, 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 Mae Martin is a comic. Do you know who she is? I did May, not. Mae Martin? Mae Mar- May Martin. No, I don't know. Tell me more. Uh, there is a, um, a Netflix show called Feel Good. I feel, and I feel bad that I didn't, that I'm not like, see the whole, the dinosaur didn't know about this <laughs> show, <laughs> but it's really a remarkable uh, show. I think it, 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 um, it captures a certain, uh, captures a certain thing about the comedy world and, um, and the acting is terrific. And, um, and she's wonderful in it. And um, yeah, she's wonderful. She She's a lesbian. She has a relationship in it. But it's about like more like, like shit that happened in our lives that make us who we are. Right. Kind of thing. So, but I was really, um, and I'm, I'm really under articulating what that show is, but it's mm. fantastic. She's really talented. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's good news. Um, and Next. um so yeah. that, so um next door you, well because i live in hell's kitchen in new right. york city and yeah. the next door app is hilarious what do you they, get i get um someone has sprayed the lovely roses outside the oua at 346 east 50th street with roundup or something similar what had been a lavish display is now a <laughs> sickening sight. I feel confident it was not the squatters as they tended to the flowers, but who destroyed beauty that many enjoyed and why? What purpose does destruction of roses serve? This is why we can't have nice things. I, I can't with everybody, pardon me. I, 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 I'm gee. drinking, um, gee, what do you got today? I, in honor of gay pride, yes. Yes, yes. It was because it's a larger mug, so I could put more in it. This is large, and it's the first, it's the second coffee I've had this morning. 
And it's going to, you know, I'm going to bounce off the walls. I'm, I will bounce mm -hmm. off the walls. I will do it. Uh, this is not G for Gina. It's G for Jillian, who's oh. home with her mother, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm staying in. Thanks, G. Uh, anyway. Girl is what it should say. Shut oh, it disappeared. When you take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> She's drinking nothing. I'm drinking nothing in the, in the magic that is this podcast. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so I had a show uh, last Wednesday at the Dubliner. The um, Dubliner. It's a lot of fun. Flip Schultz basically headlined that jam. Fantastic. Um, one of these guys, the industry better just snap out of whatever. I mean, look, it's stuff is happening all over the place. I'm telling you, this guy is, I mean, you know, he's very funny. Um, next Wednesday, uh, uh -huh. next Wednesday is a little interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, I have my sort of resident host now, Lalo Rodriguez, who I, That's who I love. When you find a good host, yeah. it makes it, it changes the whole show. And the fact that you have a, like a, like a permanent host or a regular mm -hmm. host, it's just, mm -hmm. that's so fucking great. That is so hard to find. That's fucking awesome. Shout out to Lala. Is that right? La Lalo, Lalo. 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 But there's a, there's a couple guys like this Perry Sack and, you know, I've had some people, you know, and of course, right. Zach McGovern, but blah, blah, blah. But anyway, Lalo's doing it. And then, um, so Lori uh, Brownstone is in town. Uh-huh. As is Lori Summer, who I spoke to. Great. Uh, so hopefully I'll see her. We're trying to, you know, get something going when she can, you know, she's taking care of her folks, blah, blah, blah. But right. hopefully she can, she can do a, a spot. And then oh, that um, would be so fun to have her do a spot. That would be like I, the old days. I, I can't, I, I seriously, I can't wait. We were laughing. We're talking about the next door app. I don't know if she, uh, <laughs> listen, she, she, somebody put a note on her car. She was like parked. In like, you know, when you don't want your car to get hit by some, not, you know, yeah. another, so you sort of cheat out a little bit. So you take yeah. it up to, and a neighbor had to say something. And <laughs> it was like, she was, I kid you not. She had been in Florida 24 hours at that point. Like not even a day, not even, I'm sorry, not even 24 hours right. before the note. And she walked in ac wasn't working things were like you know i've been there like I've, I've i've come and gone from florida enough to know like now this isn't working now that i gotta deal with this it's like she just got there it was like <laughs> freaking next door app the car is parked in two spots you know it's like ridiculous so uh, <laughs> i'd be like but, fuck uh, you old bitch you ain't going nowhere you're gonna well, be you know, dead soon sweetie don't worry about it <laughs> you know Lori's not playing. You know, you know Lori, Lori Summer is not. Go, yeah. Lori will take it to the to the depths of hell with that note. <laughs> well, you know, at some it'll point she's got. It'll be on the ten o'clock news, the Tonight Show. <laughs> uh, she, it'll be on TMZ. I, it'll be. On you have to hear it from her own. I, I was dying when she was telling me the story. So anyway, she's so um, funny. She's so she's, funny she's she's very funny and um i'm i'm just so happy that uh you know i'm gonna get a chance to see her and um and uh you know hopefully we I'm, you know i'm jealous some... i wish i was there with you too i don't know why i just did this but i'm looking at my lips uh which which <laughs> need which need a little injection i need a little i want to touch up there's nothing here i haven't done it in a year a year a year. I have not done anything to my face in a year, but you know, I don't know why I went there. Why did I go there? <laughs> why did I even go there? Good morning. Welcome to the new noon. I haven't done anything to my face in a year. And then come Regis comes out every time. I haven't done anything to my face. Um, I was talking about the show. So Lalo, Lori Brownstone, another, uh, and then there's a guy, a guy, a guy. This <laughs> You know a guy, know a guy. You got a guy, and I got a guy. How you there's doing? this guy. His name is Joshua Kusnick. He was a sports agent, right? He brought a baseball player uh, to see the show a couple days ago. A single? Couple, like two. Yeah, he is single as far as I could tell. He's like 23. I mean, the guy is young. He so was right. drafted. He's, hey, he's old enough to vote. <laughs> <laughs> he could get into the bars all by himself. He's fair game. Can. He's a very fit 
very fit young man. Uh, he was like drafted by the Reds at the age of like 17 or some shit like that. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't have his name handy, but like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's about comedy, not the hot baseball players that come to the show, or is it? Okay. It's about the baseball uh, Sorry. Uh, okay. So Josh is on the show. Johnny Azari, my partner in, in, in not yeah. crime, in non crime, actually. Yeah. Yep. is is on the show and then of course one of my other favorites down here in south florida mike penzika so it's gonna be nice. a hot uh show this wednesday it's a great show it's a great show um and uh you never know what's gonna happen you never know you never you know don't. who's gonna stop by nope you don't know you don't know you just don't know who's gonna stop by. you don't know i uh for me i have mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh I'm just going to cheat at my little calendar right here. Uh, geez, over there. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. um, over there. Oh, geez, over there. Oh, I over see there. why you're looking at your calendar. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, <laughs> stifle over there, you. All right. <laughs> now that I've got on my tangent. Amazing. Uh, Wednesday so good nights. Oh, Wednesday mm -hmm. nights at nine o'clock on govsradio.com is another exciting episode of Chrissy Unleashed with Mark Riccadonna. We have been on fire. I love him so much. And uh, this week, we also have a meeting with Carolyn Gittimer about taking over our, as a tour manager for our Naughty and Nice tour. So that's a, we're having a meeting this week about that. So stay tuned for dates. And next weekend, next Saturday, yeah, next Saturday, the 26th, I will be at QED alongside one of my favorite people, Carol Montgomery, and doing another installment of Funny Women of a Certain Age. It's Saturday night, June 26th at QED in a story at 11 p.m. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And she's filming her third Funny Women of a Certain Age special next month in L.A. Amazing. She's that's great. crushing it. Yeah. That's great. And you're going to see uh, my old home girl, old, she's not old, but my, my old friend, and, uh, and we work together at comics. Cambry Cruz is the um, proud owner of QED. So, Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so uh, say hi to Cambry. I will so say if hi she, to her. If she is there. Oh, She's and, married to, yeah. Oh, no, 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 keep going. I thought you were. No, she's married to that um, talented Christian Finnegan. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. That, this is a gossip show. That. Now it's a gossip show. Uh, but yeah, oh, <laughs> and Stacey to... Prossman is on the ballot. Okay, continue. Uh, and she'll get one vote <laughs> from her mother. Now All stop right. it. Because <laughs> nobody, nobody's been a libertarian since 1991. But anyway. You know what? <laughs> I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe. Maybe people are fed up. Okay, continue. Uh, not not that much. Um... <laughs> no, Hater. I got to. Hater's going to hate. It. That's okay. what I do. Okay. Okay. That's what I do. Um, We're roasting. Continue. Yeah. Prostman knows I love her to pieces. I know. Um, anyway, I uh, on uh, Friday night, I went over, me and Teddy Smith went over to Stand Up New York just to hang out because, you know, Teddy's retired this year because he's working on the movie stuff and he's yeah. focusing on all that. And he's also writing another hour. So it's it's awesome. Um, right. I snuck in and surprised Judy Gold at her spot and it was hilarious and it was just where was she stand up new york uh, yeah. she was closing oh. the eight o'clock show and okay. we just popped in over there me and teddy and eric marino and we popped in over there just to right. say hi and chill face and you nice. know, talk to john and them and uh because mm -hmm. you know i'm not in over there but now i am because uh between teddy and judy going you know but it was so funny she, i'm like i don't know john i've met him but it's just it's i go i've never worked i'm like eh, it doesn't matter i work at the other club so she yelled at him and that was cute but it was, it was nice to see judy and it's just like she's that bitch did not you know what it's like you know some comics that you know a year and three months off even if they're doing park shows or zoom shows mm -hmm. they don't miss a beat and judy just on fire and just I love her. She's probably the funniest fucking piece of shit on the planet. <laughs> she's, just, she's my favorite person to like. I don't watch many comics anymore. I mean, I love watching comics, but sometimes mm -hmm. I'm busy. But she is one person I will go out of my way to watch because it's always hilarious. I love Judy. I'm just shouting out to Judy Gold. I love you. Shout Judy. out to Judy Gold. And, and this is my impression of Judy Gold. <laughs> this is my impression of Judy Gold. <laughs> since um uh <laughs> since 1995 
Um, I would answer the phone when I worked at Caroline's. This is back in the day, day. Right. This right. back. And I would answer the phone and I'd be like, this is uh, Gina Savage. <laughs> like, like I'm anybody, right? <laughs> and she would go, Gina Savage. <laughs> Gina Savage. Judy Gold. <laughs> Judy Gold. Gina. We do it all the time. Gina Savage. Judy Gold. So, yeah. You know, it's crazy stuff. Um, speaking of, you know, stopping by to see people, I happen to... Um, I got a call from Eddie Brill, who I who I was going love. to, and he loves you. Oh, and he I just, loves you. I love, love, love Eddie Brill. Yeah, I just saw so, him in Anita Wise the other night at the at Broadway. That's what he. That's what he said. He because mm. I, I you know I I talked to him about lunch money and uh -huh. he's like and so he was like he had nothing but good things to say about you but. So he called me and uh, he just saw where I'm staying in West Palm uh -huh. uh, right now. I'm going to be in New York next, uh, the first through the seventh, actually. Um, but um, yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, but uh, Eddie, Eddie said he was going to be at the improv. He's teaching a class over there in, in West Palm. Well, so I, 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 yeah, I, he mentioned that. Right. So I stopped by to see him Saturday and, uh, you know, I haven't watched someone teach a class since um, Chris Murphy, you know, and um, and Chris is great. And then, but watching Eddie it was like it was great, you know, just to hear his comments and stuff. I was sitting in the back for a little bit, and then we caught up a little bit. So I got to see. I haven't been to the Improv since I, since I, you know, basically have been down here. You know, I was right. like, I really just haven't. I haven't gone to like any major club, you right. know. Plus, it was COVID, blah, blah, blah. But oh, that. Like, oh, that. Oh, that damn COVID. COVID pest, just <laughs> getting in the way of everything. But uh, it was nice to see Eddie. So, uh, oh. you know, you and Judy, me and Eddie. Da, 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 da. It was just like having, it's just like people getting back together. Like, you know, like the old like school people. crew, you know, like all of a yeah. sudden. Like, like the dinosaurs. <laughs> hey, it's Jurassic <laughs> Park. <laughs> Sweetie, <laughs> there's got to be a name for this episode. <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> joke. That's it. The end. <laughs> oh, great. We can wrap it up now. I think. Yeah. I, I think, think we're we at, it. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of time on that. <laughs> Tired. I got work to do. It's Monday, and uh, you know, let's look forward to another exciting week. Yes. And that's it. <laughs> And that's it. My the, as my as the as the coffee cup disappears, these are the days of our lives. All right, I love you. I love you too. This has been Lunch Money. Uh, I have been Christy Miller, and that's been Gina Savage. <laughs> Judy Gina <Cole>. Savage. <laughs> that's right. Usually she calls you by your name. She just looks at me and goes, Cunt! <laughs> hey, if the name fits. Uh, this has been Lunch Money. I've been Christy Miller. That's been Gina Savage. We are your new noon. Tune in every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and coming soon to Patreon near you. Goodbye. Have a great week.